Road safety in our Nigerian roads over the years have been an issue to reckon with due to several reports of occurrence of accidents as a result of recklessness and faulty processes. Some of our children hardly comply with road safety standards and regulations. So today we are in the streets of Port Harcourt to ascertain the level of compliance when it comes to road safety standards, especially when it has to do with our kids. However, the good news is that some citizens in Port Harcourt take it as a point of responsibility to ensure that our kids are safe on the streets. All right, actually, I do it every day. My kids are actually close around 2.30, so this is the actual time to pick them back from school. And I always make sure they are safety conscious, not staying at my back, just like I told my daughter to come to the front. She should not start my back. That's it. Because if anything should happen to them, I don't know how it will be of me. So thank you. Thank you. In our own capacity as a as a national union that operate in this uh, vicinity. Due to the road, the new bridge that is very close to us here. What we usually do, we have a personnel, two or three of them, every morning. When, the, when there is rushing hour, those early morning when people are, when the workers are going to work and when children are going to school, and at the afternoon time, before we normally close, we have people that normally mount the, our front here so that they can stop vehicles from coming for people to cross, both mostly the disabled people. Because uh, due to the plans of the park, of the bridge, they didn't do, they, uh, the government didn't fashion any way out like that for them. Though we are still making requests for them to, to see what they can do from the under that bridge, from that place that they can do pedestra that uh, children can easily cross. And uh, that zebra uh, line too, we are working on it with the Minister of uh, uh, the Minister of Urban Planning. So we are still on it. We want them to do something of those zebra planning between here and the first gate and the second gate here. Every morning we mount, we mount people there to stop people for a vehicle so that people can cross and uh, when they are coming back. That is our own little effort that we have made. In the streets of Port Harcourt, in the GRA axis, to ascertain the level of compliance to road safety standards. My kids don't cross the road on, the, on their own, and we make sure we use the pedestrian when we are crossing. And you can see, I'm holding him in my arm, so that when we want to cross, I make sure he cross, we cross together. I will not let him, because the roads they are not safe. Parents shouldn't leave their, their wards and their children at school. Once, it's school. once the school is over, they should be guided. At least somebody, an elderly person, should take them home. And don't let them run around. As I said, the roads are not safe at all for our children, even for us. For road safety standards to be followed at all levels, 
It is expected that the citizens of Portacourt should go a long way to build a significant relationship with constituted authorities in driving the process of safeguarding our lives on our streets and roads. Well, that's it from Portacourt.